Thomas Paul Greaser is a federal judge for the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York. Life and career, born in Kansas City, Missouri, Greaser received a A.B. from Harvard University in 1952 and served in the U.S. Coast Guard from 1952 to 1954, thereafter receiving an L.L.B. from Stanford Law School in 1958. He was an attorney with the Admiralty and Shipping Section of the U.S. Department of Justice from 1958 to 1960, and was then in private practice in New York City from 1960 to 1972. He was nominated to the court by Richard M. Nixon on June 15, 1972, to a new seat created by 84 Stat 294, confirmed by the United States Senate on June 28, 1972 and received his commission on June 30, 1972. He served as chief judge from 1993 to 2000 and assumed senior status on March 13, 2000. Judicial record. Equals Griffin Bell contempt holding equals, in 1978, Greaser issued an order holding United States Attorney General Griffin Bell in contempt of court for Bell's refusal to turn over FBI records about 18 informants in the Socialist Workers' Party. This was the first time that a U.S. Attorney General had been held in contempt for conduct during pretrial proceedings. Although Greaser declined a request to immediately jail Bell for contempt, he did indicate that if Bell failed to comply with the order within a one-week deadline, Greaser would entertain a motion for more drastic sanctions. Bell indeed refused to comply, and was held in contempt, although this order was stayed pending appellate review. On appeal, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit held that it was clearly erroneous for the district court to determine that the files are so central to the plaintiff's case that contempt is the only appropriate sanction for the government's failure to disclose them, and ordered Greaser to consider alternative sanctions equals Westway construction permit holding equals, in 1982, Greaser blocked the permit for the construction of the Westway, saying the road would harm striped base. His order was affirmed by the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit. Equals Argentina's debt restructuring equals, in 2014, Greaser presided over the Argentine debt restructuring, on remand following the U.S. Supreme Court's decision to permit hedge funds who in the period June 2001 to November 2003 bought bonds, which are negotiable instruments and therefore, like bond owners all over the world, never drew any pay from the issuing country, to access potentially an array of bank records to locate financial assets overseas and seeking compensation negotiable instruments like bonds are bought and sold like commodities at the price seller and buyer agree upon. Paul Singer's Cayman Islands-based hedge fund NML Capital Limited is the principal litigant in this dispute, having paid considerably more than $90 million U.S. million in the secondary market for bonds with a face value of $832 million U.S. million by 2014. It should not come as a surprise that during the intervening 13 years, these bonds have drawn interests as bonds do. Through an official press release published on Friday afternoon, June 27, 2014, the Argentine government stated that Greaser attempted to a euro early block the payment for bondholders, a euro and committed an abuse of authority, after cancelling the deposit made on Thursday into a Bank of New York account. The text specified a euro aware the deposited amounts of fiduciary property of the holders a euro and it is the duty of the fiduciary agent to a euro aware hold them on behalf of the holders a euro unregistered trademark benefit a euro judge Greaser's ruling was upheld by the full United States Court of Appeals, and the United States Supreme Court found no reason to revise Greaser's ruling. Controversy The reliability of the Argentine claim can be judged by 1. Definition of default in the original prospectus for Argentina Euro unregistered trademark S2005 debt exchange, notwithstanding the foregoing, Argentina's obligations to make payments of principal and interest on the new securities shall not have been satisfied until such payments are received by registered holders of the new securities. 2. Similar in the original prospectus for Argentina Euro unregistered trademark S2010 debt exchange. 3. All the major rating agencies has declared Argentina to be in default, 3.1. Argentina put into selective default by Standard & Poor's 3.2.
Moody's changes Argentina's outlook to negative as default will hasten economic decline 3.3. Fitch downgrades Argentina to a euro restricted default a euro unregistered trademark 3.4. China's Dagon Global Credit Rating Company cuts Argentina to default 3.5. The International Swaps and Derivatives Association declares Argentina in default, bonds extend losses. According to American economist and recipient of the Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Sciences, Joseph Stiglitz, with Greece's decision America is throwing a bomb into the global economic system. References External links Thomas P. Greaser at the Biographical Directory of Federal Judges, a public domain publication of the Federal Judicial Center.